Hey everyone, Nick here and welcome back to GameTube, and welcome back to our Five Nights at Freddy's character concept series. So for today's character, we're looking into Oinky the Pig. So we'll be going into this character's location, their gameplay mechanics, their backstory, and all that good stuff as well. And as always, I will just state in these videos that everything I say isn't exactly canon or tied to the original FNAF universe. These are like some alternate characters that we get to make up, and we hope you enjoy them. And lastly, before we start today's video, do be sure to subscribe to GamerTube, as in the near future, we will be doing a community character live stream. This is where we'll share all our ideas and we'll come up with our own FNAF character. So keep an eye out for that live stream and make sure to subscribe so you get notified. Alrighty, well, let's take a deep look into Winky the Pig. So in our new Freddy Fazbear location, we've been introduced to the Freddy Fazbear's Funtime Farm. A farmland themed pizzeria that had a colourful cast of characters that entertained and celebrated children's birthdays. So far, the characters we've been introduced to are Henry the Horse and Daisy the Dairy Cow. Henry was obsessed with getting outside the pizzeria and being free. But they were so obsessed and desperate that they'd harm anyone who got in their way. Daisy, on the other hand, suffered from bullying and torment from the local teenagers who would tip her over. In the end, she came to the conclusion that she wasn't hugging enough people and being as nice as she could be. Unfortunately, with all her exposed wires, she'd give a mighty fatal shock to whoever she hugged. So now we come to the third character at the Freddy Fazbear Funtime Farm. And this character is... Winky the Pig. Winky the Pig was a cowboy themed character. Seeing that the town that surrounded the pizzeria had a rich history of ranchers, farmers and cowboys, this seemed to be a fitting character. So the engineers went with the classic pink colour scheme for Winky. For their outfit they dressed them in a cowboy hat, red bandana, belt and holster and some shiny classic cowboy boots. On their hip was a colourful blue and green water pistol that they used as a part of their act on stage. Whenever it was someone's birthday, the establishment would do what they called the birthday quick draw. The employees would hand the special birthday guest a toy plastic revolver that was filled with special foam darts. These darts had a special magnet in the tip that when fired would stick to Oinky and actually register with his senses and cause him to stop moving. So, in the birthday quick draw, Oinky and the birthday guests would have a classic western standoff. Oinky's gun would be filled with water and the guests would have the special magnet darts. If the guest wasn't quick enough, they would get sprayed with Oinky's water gun. But if the child was quick and got some shots in, the darts would register with Oinky's sensor and cause him to freeze and the guest would win a prize. Now, apart from the birthday quick draw up on stage, Oinky also had another area that he was linked with. This was of course, the pig pen. A children's ball pit area that was filled with brown plastic balls to simulate mud in this pretend pig pen. Most of the time, this is where Oinky would hang around and greet all the guests. He would watch over as all the children played in the ball pit. But the only thing is, Oinky was very protective of their pig pen ball pit. They were obsessed with all the mud balls and couldn't have any of them misplaced. They knew exactly how many there were at all times. And if any of the balls accidentally fell out of the ball pit or went missing, this would cause them great distress. When the pizzeria would close for the day, some employees have even said they've seen Oinky picking up all the stray plastic balls. So, on one unfortunate day, Oinky proved to be a little bit too protective of the ball pit and went too far. After the pizzeria's annual health and safety check, the health inspector ordered management to have the plastic balls in the ball pit cleaned, as they haven't been cleaned in a while and it proved to be a health risk for germs and bacteria. So, they ordered a cleaning specialist after hours to clean and sanitise all the balls in the pit. The specialist would vacuum up all of the plastic mud balls through a large tube that would lead into the steam cleaning chamber of their truck. Whilst the worker was vacuuming up all the balls, Oinky suddenly walked in on them and saw what they were doing. 
Obviously being overly protective of their ball pit, Oinky thought this stranger was stealing all of the mud balls. They had to stop them no matter what. On that dreadful night, Oinky attacked the poor worker to stop them from stealing any more mud balls. The worker managed to defend themselves with whatever tools they had on hand. They got a couple of good hits in and managed to damage Onki's body here and there. During this terrifying ordeal, the worker pressed the reverse button and sent the balls back into the pit. They just narrowly escaped with a broken arm and some bumps and bruises. Later on the next day, the authorities never believed their crazy story on an animatronic cowboy pig attacking them. They thought they made the story up in order to make a lawsuit and sue the Fazbear Entertainment Company. The police also didn't believe them on account of there being no security footage of the incident. Of all nights for this to happen, it happened on a night where the security cameras were playing up. But regardless of the lack of evidence and what the townspeople thought, the manager thought there was some truth to their story. Over time, they've been observing Oinky's behaviour and have noticed their obsession with the ball pit and their manic nature. They inspected Oinky after the ordeal and noticed they've been beaten up pretty badly. But the cleaner wouldn't do that for no good reason. And after hearing about the cleaner's wounds, it sounded like they got the short end of the stick. Even though Oinky was a little worn and torn, they still decided to put them on display. The manager also decided to keep a close eye on Oinky for any strange behaviour. Ever since the incident, Oinky wasn't the same. When it came to the birthday quick draw, he wouldn't even draw his gun. All he would do is look over to the ball pit and keep an eye out if any of his mud balls were missing. One time, a small child nearly went home with one of the plastic balls. The manager noticed Oinky was right behind them and looked like he was just about to attack. The manager quickly grabbed one of the foam dart guns and shot Oinky. This caused them to freeze and the manager politely asked the child for the ball and gave him a balloon instead. So this confirmed it, Oinky was far too dangerous and something needed to be done. The manager decided they needed to get rid of the ball pit altogether. Oinky's obsessive behaviour with the ball pit wouldn't be tolerated anymore. If they got rid of it altogether, then they'd eventually get over it. So now, let's get into the gameplay segment. Hey bud, I just thought I'd let you know we're doing something a little bit different tonight. I've got a job for you. I know it's not really in your description, but I'd really appreciate if you could help me out. We finally decided to pack up the pig pen ball pit for good, so I'm going to need you to grab all of the plastic balls and put them in the cardboard boxes near the front door. Unfortunately, since the incident, we can't get any movers to come within a square inch of this place, so you're going to need to pack up all of the balls and dismantle the playpen. Now, I'm sure you've heard the rumors involving Oinky and the cleaner, but rest assured I've locked him away in the repair room for good. There's nothing to worry about. He won't even know we're taking the balls away. Alright, thanks for helping me out. I'll talk to you in the morning. Good luck. So, like the manager said, you're going to need to empty out all the plastic balls and pack them away. He said Oinky was locked up so this shouldn't be too much trouble. So just like the first video with Henry, this gameplay segment will take place in the first person perspective while you roam around the pizzeria. The player would need to grab as many plastic balls as they can hold and walk over and place them in the boxes. The player would usually be able to hold around 10 to 12 balls at a time. After a couple of passes, they hear a door open. As they continue to work, out of the corner of their eye, they see Oinky peering around the corner. He's escaped. He knows exactly what you're doing. Oinky plans on stopping the player no matter what. The player needs to protect themselves from the crazed animatronic. 
They remember they can use the birthday quick draw plastic foam dart gun. They quickly grab it off the counter and keep it on them for safekeeping. These special magnetic darts will stop Oinky in their tracks, but only for a little while. The player would have six shots and would definitely have to make them count. So the player would have to continue grabbing the plastic balls and packing them away in the boxes. Once they've gotten all the plastic balls out of the playpen, then they could go back to the safety of the security office and the level would be over. If the player runs out of foam darts or is too slow to draw their toy gun, they'd be met with a classic FNAF jump scare. Now I feel like Oinky the Pig would be a great addition to the Funtime Farm. They could offer a lot of tense gameplay moments and jump scares, but also an interesting gameplay mechanic with a defensive weapon. Alright everyone, well that's all we have for today's video, I hope you enjoyed, and if you did, please consider leaving a like, commenting, and subscribing, as it helps out a lot and it's greatly appreciated. Also, do be sure to let us know what you thought of Oinky the Pig, and also what other characters you'd like to see going forward. Also, do remember to subscribe to GamerDude, because we will be having that live stream soon, so keep an eye out for that. Alrighty everyone, well, until the next video, catch you later, bye.